Okay, I was thinking that it was time for another lighthearted frolic through um, electrodynamics. So let's put together a really nice, um, simple problem. All right. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to measure the effect of a um, sphere on an, a, a uniformly charged sphere that's near a um, fairly large um, plane. So a small sphere next to a large plane. This guy has a uniform density, a uniform charge density rho. This one has a uniform charge density sigma. So it's, this is a volume, this is a surface charge. And I'd like to measure um, what the force is uh, of this guy on this guy. So let's say I've put put this on a um, scale. I put that on an electronic scale so that I'm going to just measure the force on on this uniformly charged plane from this uniformly charged sphere right so that so that's what i want to do okay so let's see how i can do that so what do i have well i have a um one i have a uniformly charged plane So that has a surface charge density. Sigma. And then we have a um, uniformly charged um, sphere. It has a um, volume charge density. And so this is fine. This is infinite in extent, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Well, it's not really infinite, but it's close enough to infinite for us. Um, this guy, he's, um, he's something that we have to worry about his size of, so he needs a radius. Right, so we're going to give him a radius of um, big R. And what we want to do is we want to find um, we want to find the force on the plane. And I'm perfectly willing to just label the plane sigma and label the um, sphere rho. So that's the force on the plane from the uh, from the sphere. Um, so, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Well, you do remember that I um, I put in your notes something like uh, like the uh, force on the force on an extended object. from an extended object. Right. And that had um, some sort of equation like this. So we have a force from rho to sigma uh, is equal to basically um, two triple integrals, right? Well, from sigma to rho, or from rho to sigma, which means um, we want to integrate first over the surface, right? That goes with sigma. So we want to integrate over the S of um, sigma at um, some point R, right? Over uh, over nothing. Right? So we have to. So we're multiplying this basically, this sigma r by the next integral, which is a triple integral over this volume here, right? V prime of um, rho of r prime. This guy here, all over. Um, you know, we're going to have to take the take. We're going to have to take the 
we're going to have to take the vector r here and, and uh, or this difference here and um, r minus r prime and we're going to have to sort of expand it out so instead of a square down here we have r minus r prime cubed because we can't get the direction without that so we need an r minus r prime up here so if we take the magnitudes the magnitude is one over r squared but one over the distance squared but um, that's about it but this will give us the right direction that gives us the right um, stuff there um, and I need that constant 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught out in front I could put it here but I don't want it there and then we go ahead and we integrate over the volume and the um, surface so so for each point on the surface we have to do it we have to do an integral for every um, every bit there so that basically means we have five variables in here a double integral here and a triple integral here to integrate over that doesn't sound so good does it um, but we want to use some of the uh, we can use some of the things that we know right to make this a little bit easier so what I'm going to use for my strategy right is first I'm going to um, find the field from the from the plane okay and then I'm going to use that to find um, the force on the uh, sphere and then I'm going to find use that to find um, the force on the plane okay so the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I know what the field is from this plane right we've done it twice we've we've created that field twice in uh, once in class and twice um, in these videos um, we know what that is it's a nice uniform field and that's going to give us some nice properties when we try to find the force on the sphere because then the um, field at each one of these points is exactly the same right so in fact that means that since this is going to be uniformly charged or since this is going to be uniformly charged and since the field is going to be the same um, basically we can just you know take this volume integral and say uh, you know everything is really acting at this point in the middle here so, so, so that'll be nice and um, then we'll be able to use Newton's third law to find the force on the plane right so basically that field from the plane that field from the plane is Sigma over 2 epsilon naught um, this is some some distance D above there so it's in this just in the Z hat direction so that's it and then the force on row from Sigma right is just going to be um, uh, basically it's going to be Q times E Sigma Q of Rho and E Sigma um, and Q Rho is just going to be um, the volume times the uh, t times the charge density right this guy um, and then E Sigma is this other charge density over 2 epsilon naught and that's all in the Z hat direction uh, the volume is 4 pi r cubed over 3 and then we have rho sigma over 2 epsilon naught z hat and that's not really really the prettiest thing that I've ever seen so we're going to go with 2 pi over 3 epsilon naught we, we like that so get the pies um, then we have rho sigma r cubed in the z hat direction all right so um, this guy's getting pushed away from this guy he's getting pushed up and that, well, that means that this other guy's getting pushed down right so uh, Newton's um, third law says that the force on this thing from that thing is equal to the the minus the force on 
this thing from that, th or from the force on this thing from that thing. So we have minus f rho sigma, right? So we just have minus 2 pi over 3 rho sigma epsilon naught. I think that looks a little nicer, don't you? Times r cubed. r cubed you know, just part of the volume of this thing. Um, the other parts are over here and a little bit hidden. Z hat. And there we have it. That's it. That's that's the force on um, the force on this plane. So not a whole lot to do. I mean, if you understand everything that's going on, then maybe all of these things are going to be quick problems that I can even explain in ten minutes and do in five, right? Um, which means that you can explain them in twenty and do them in ten, hopefully. So uh, see you for the test. Bye now.